the fact that these leaders are all upper 70s, low 80s, and that's just across the board when it comes to leadership in America. Um, all of our prominent leaders are extremely old. Well, good transition right now because then we're going to talk about that part. I mean, oh. <laughs> yeah, they're extremely to, old. Let's go first to Trump. As you can see he's 76. Joe Biden. Joe is 80. Yo. Nancy, oh, Nancy just, just announced her retirement. But guys, this is crazy. Retirement Nancy just from announced. What? As the leader of the of the Democratic Party, but she's still going to be Congresswoman, correct? Is she? That I don't know. She, yeah, I don't she know. resigned as the leader. I don't know if she's yeah. going to remain the Congress. I think she's she just gonna... resigned as a leader. She announced uh, retirement as leader. Yeah, there, thereafter, but said she will remain member of the House and will continue to be representative for San Francisco. Hey, yo, they got a barrier. How old is she? She's eighty-two. I didn't expect that, I have to say. She is 82. I don't think people understand what that means. Like, honestly, I really don't think people understand what 82 means. She's 82. Mitch McConnell, you might know him. Face. He's, I think, also the, uh, the, uh, the head of the... He's 80. Chuck Schumer, well-known. Chuck is 71. I mean, these people are all over the... They should all retire. Now, Gary Johnson is not in here. But these are the faces we, we, we that all, always make the media, you know? There's a lot of old people, man. Like you said. And there's such a disconnect with the, the people. The people of this country. The people that... I don't want to just say have ideas, but the people that, like, make up America... And then these people that represent America. And so there's, I, I don't, that's why, I, I mean, I didn't vote in this past election. I feel great about that. I'm not saying that I'll never vote, but I, I it's going to take something, like I said, a statesman speaking something that is like, okay, this is something that I believe in, but I know 100% these people can't speak that rhetoric because they're 81, so their future of America is very different than, like... <laughs> their future is from the ground. They can't think about 20 years from now. <laughs> it's impossible. Like, there's... That's, what, that's, what I, that's why I think people don't really understand it. They literally can't wrap their head around 20 years down the road because they're not going to be here. And I say that with all due respect. Yeah. yeah. I mean... I mean, it's a fact. I mean, they're 80, so I don't think they're going to be around here anymore, even in 10 years. But you can the argue chances. That, you, can the argue that, you can argue that Biden isn't around here, <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> this guy, I don't think he's, sometimes it seems like he doesn't know he's alive. Man. I, I... <laughs> he still thinks it's 2014 or something like that, man. There are times it's such a it's a weird feeling. Right. Because like there are times where it is it's hilarious. And then yeah. there are times where you just you don't understand how did we get here? Like he literally like, I mean, he's not only did do we not understand how we got here. One, I'd be thinking like who who voted for him? And then I know people that actually voted for him. And I'm like, what went through your mind? And do you yeah. like you see these you see these like whatever you want to call it of these videos of him either speaking or just like shaking imaginary people's hands and it's like it's elder abuse i don't know what reality we're in where this <laughs> this is the leader